It's early morning and you're still tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast or Expresso on SABC3. Now, with Metro FM being the largest national urban radio station in Mzansi, we can never pass up the opportunity to connect with them. And we're back, of course, uh, with host Mo Flavor, co-host Mushin Diki and Owen Honey, who is on sports to catch up with how 2020 and the lockdown has been treating them. Very good morning, guys. Thanks so much for making the time. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We good are good. Morning. How are you, gentlemen? Good morning. Oh, we are so good. good. So good to see you all, guys. Uh, let's start here. I mean, Mo, music has certainly brought you all together as a team, and it's such a beautiful team. Uh, and the station has been encouraging the country to do the same with the hashtag Get Together experience uh, that will be highlighting local music this month. Let's talk about uh, this initiative and for each of you what your favorite local song at the moment is to get the conversation started. <laughs> Right, well, uh, listen, I must say, um, it's been a, an incredible year, I think, musically, where uh, on the one hand, we've, still, we've had so much great music um, coming through with artists that are new and artists we know, and then we've had a pandemic. So, you know, this is a time where I wish we had, um, you know, festivals where artists could really maximize on their greatness. But um, I think the get together experience for me was such a, a no brainer, such a brilliant idea, because it basically brings radio and TV together where we have brought the musical uh, lifestyle and almost clubbing or groove experience to people uh, chilling at home during lockdown. Um, ideally, um, it's to say, even because, the, you know, because you can't go um, clubbing, you can't go to festivals, we still have entertainment for you. We can still bring you your favorite DJs. We can bring you your favorite artists. So the get together experience was really about that. And even when all this madness is over of lockdowns and Corona, I still want the gig to their experience to stay. It has to stay. And I'm sure it will. The yeah. fans love it out yeah. there. So, so what is your favorite track right now, Mo? I've been uh, tossing up between a, a couple of, of songs at the moment, but I have to say um, that Gabza the Small has a, an awesome song called Ono No, uh, which is just doing the absolute most. Um, but I'm also loving Nongkebo's Gola Mo Um I think it's a brilliant song. Oof, yeah, man, just so much good stuff out there. Uh, yeah. uh. And what's yours, Owen? What's your favorite song? And then yours, Moshe. Jeez. <laughs> Man, anything that starts with Juanita Moss. So <laughs> 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 On point. <laughs> and Moshe? Like, you know, like for me, I don't know whether, like, is it a local song now because it's done so much internationally. Yeah. Jerusalem, yeah. I, I, I'm still not a good song. Uh, still come on, Musa, you can do better. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm literally, I, I, every time I, like, I, I make sure I, I play it every time in the morning. It's my get up and go song. If I'm feeling, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm in a bad mood, I play that song and I'm just like, Hey, And I mean, it is, it is the most Shazam song in the world right now, uh, which kind of speaks volumes of the, the, the talent and artistry that we're able to bring up from South Africa. But Owen, let's talk to you for a moment. Amidst being a sports presenter, you're also a fitness fanatic and a biker. Um, how's lockdown affected your ability yeah. to indulge in these activities and uh, how's it changing as regulations have been dropped down or decreased? Yeah. You know, it's been crazy when the time the pandemic started, obviously we were sent home and said, listen, you're going to be broadcasting from home. You're not allowed to go anywhere. What are you going to do? So my wife and I started a little, our gym at home. So we've been working out of our garage. Um, and then, you know, just gymming around the house. That's how I kept myself as fit as possible. During this time, it also brought us together as a family, which was fantastic because I wasn't complaining about that. And as the lockdown eased, uh, managed to get out on the road, running a lot more. And more recently, the gyms have opened up. So managed to go back to gym to keep as fit as possible. You know, I'm a gym fanatic of notes. I can't miss out any gym training on a day. So I've been gymming from the day lockdown has started to today. I mean, almost every day. A lot of people suffered out there, but uh, I've managed to eat properly, stay fit, Unlike uh, Mo Flavi smiling there because we know what happened to him during this lockdown. Um, yeah. <laughs> and Moshe just stays as, as lean and mean as he always is. <laughs> lean and mean. Uh, speaking of Moshe, lean and mean, but you've done so well, Moshe. I mean, we have watched you slay the game, an award-winning presenter. Uh, you've established yourself so well as a, as a presenter, as an entertainer overall. How have you found that the lockdown uh, has affected your career specifically and how has that shifted as the, the, the levels have changed? 
it's been such a weird experience because, um, okay, cool, we stopped shooting for some time um, on the other show that I do. Um, we stopped shooting for like a month. And then when we came back, um, we couldn't have like audience members. So it's so weird, like just doing a link and bring, like, and then saying to people, okay, please help me welcome someone. And just like, please help me welcome back here. Yeah, there's no audience members. <laughs> so the first two months were very tricky. Um, but after that, it was like, okay, cool. Like, how do we make this work? Because mm. um, obviously, I mean, it was something, it was a situation we never could have ever imagined. So we needed to think on our feet. Okay, cool. This is how we're going to start structuring the show. This is how things are going to happen. Um, but we are slowly but surely, you know, finding, finding our feet. And I'm sure it's been tricky for you as well, Mo, being in live entertainment as a club. Do DJ and an artist, you've no doubt taken a huge knock. So how have you been adjusting and connecting with your audiences throughout lockdown? And have those opportunities started opening up a little bit as lockdown has changed? Thank heavens for the get together experience because we were able to, to be seen DJing live on TV and radio on Metro and SABC One. And there's been a couple of other platforms online that have done the same thing. So I guess we've had an opportunity to not just DJ at home for ourselves, a DJ for audiences, whether it's on TV or whether it's online, you know. Um, but of course, we know that there are a lot of people who make a lot of money from gigging. Um, I've made a lot of money from gigging. It is, it is a living. Um, but I think I've been in a fortunate position where I've had, you know, multiple sources of income. So I've been able to almost mitigate the effect of not having an income. So many lessons to take out of this experience, but Absolutely. of course we continue to catch up with the team uh, from the Mo Flavor, uh, Flavor Breakfast crew who are obviously dialing in, or you dial into them on Metro FM daily from, uh, 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 you know, very early in the morning uh, on 87.9 to 107.9 megahertz nationwide. They're gonna be chatting to us about Metro FM turning 34 and how they've adjusted uh, to broadcasting during this time. So stay with your Feel Good Breakfast Show.